Hi, and welcome back to Write a Poem with Meredith Heller. Today we're going to dive deeper into poetic language and using our imaginations. Einstein said the imagination is far more important than the intellect. It's good to have both, but let's grow our imaginations. The best way to do that is by using them. Poetry is an excellent place to grow and use our imaginations. Okay, here we go. So, poetic language. I want to tell you that today I have lots of moods. There's a lot of colors and the wind and the weather affect me. I'm deep and sometimes I get churned up and angry. Sometimes I'm sad and moody. I can tell you all of this or I can just identify with something in nature. And today I'm going to identify with the ocean. I'm going to tell you I am an ocean with waves as big as mountains. And then you get the idea. All the qualities of an ocean. That's how I'm feeling today. And everything you know about an ocean can be applied when I tell you I am an ocean. Now I've told you more. Not just that I am an ocean, but I am an ocean with waves as big as mountains. So listen to how we develop each of these lines. So I could just tell you I'm an ocean. I could just tell you I'm an ocean with waves, but I told you even more. I'm an ocean with waves as big as mountains. Okay? Here's another one. I am like a garden full of colorful wildflowers, pink and purple and orange and yellow, bursting open like the heads of lions roaring. Wow, that's a lot, right? So I didn't just tell you I was a garden. I told you I'm full of wildflowers. I told you all the colors. And then I even related those beautiful faces and colors of the flowers to lions roaring. This begins to give you an idea of poetic languaging, poetic language. Again, like our last lesson, painting the pictures with words. Okay, here's some more. Listen. I am like a thunderstorm dark and heavy with moody clouds and dripping rain. I am going to make you wet today when you go for your walk. Okay? So I didn't just tell you I'm in a bad mood or I'm cranky or I'm moody or I'm sad. I became a thunderstorm. Okay? So I want you to think about identifying with animals or nature Oh, here's another one. I am like a sparrow, quick as light. You know those little birds and they're always moving and looking around. I am like a sparrow, quick as light. I am a river flowing downstream like music, like a lullaby that puts me to sleep. Okay, so this is how we do poetic language. I'm going to do some with you now, and you'll pause the video and do your own. So get your paper. I always seem to be losing my pen. Here it is. Get your paper, and I want you to write, I am. <clears throat> That's how each one of these lines is going to start. So I've given myself the title. I am by Meredith. And you'll have I am by your name. Then I've written I am down the page and given myself room to write. So my first one is going to be I am a silver dolphin spinning in the waves 
like a wheel. Forgive my sloppy handwriting. I am a silver dolphin spinning in the waves like a wheel. Okay, so I didn't just tell you I was a dolphin. I told you what I was doing. I'm spinning in the waves. And then I related it to something else that is like that turning, like a wheel. I am a silver dolphin spinning in the waves like a wheel. Turn off your video or pause it. Write yours. Think about an animal or something in nature. Identify with it. Become it. Use your imagination. I am. Tell me what you are. What kind of animal or part of nature. What are you doing? And what's it like? Compare it to something else. What is it like? I am a silver dolphin spinning in the waves like a wheel. Write yours and come back. Okay, here we go. Here's my next one. I am like a tiny yellow bird singing as sweet as honey. I am like a tiny yellow bird singing as sweet as honey. So I didn't just tell you I was a bird. I'm a tiny bird. I'm a yellow bird. And I'm singing. And I'm singing as sweet as honey. I'm going to close this door because I think I'm getting a funny reflection. Maybe I still am. I am like a tiny yellow bird singing as sweet as as honey. Pause your video, write yours, tell me what you are in nature or an animal, identify with it, and tell me something more. What are you doing and what's it like? Come back. Okay, Our, my next one is, I am a furry gray kitten walking as quiet as a whisper. I am a furry gray kitten walking as quiet as a whisper. I am a furry gray kitten walking as quietly as a whisper. Okay, and I don't want you to worry about spelling or punctuation or anything. Just work with your ideas and develop this poetic way of thinking. You're describing your thoughts. You're using your imagination to identify with an animal or something in nature. Pause your video, write yours, and come on back. Okay, here's another one. I am like a dewdrop hanging from the edge of a flower petal. like a teardrop. I am like a dewdrop hanging from the edge of a flower petal, like a teardrop. Okay? And that time I related a dewdrop and a teardrop, right? This one has a lot of detail. I am like a dewdrop hanging from the edge of a flower petal, like a teardrop. Okay, pause the video, write yours, and come on back. Okay, we're gonna do one more. I am 
a cheetah. Swift as the wind. That's it. I am a cheetah, swift as the wind. Okay, I'm going to read you my whole... Oops, I'm sorry. You go write yours, pause the video, come back. Okay, now I'm going to read you my whole poem. It goes like this. I am by Meredith. I am a silver dolphin spinning in the waves like a wheel. I am like a tiny yellow bird singing as sweet as honey. I am a furry gray kitten walking as quiet as a whisper. I am like a dewdrop hanging from the edge of a flower petal like a teardrop. And last, I am a cheetah, swift as the wind. Okay? I look forward to hearing your poems, and I'll see you again soon. Bye!